Welcome to a new episode in our video series. Today we'll be taking a deep dive into the world of reliability engineering. I'm Ryan Chan, CEO and founder of Upkeep, and I'll be your guide as we explore the importance of this role in maintaining asset reliability within an organization. We'll be looking at the various responsibilities and skills that make a successful reliability engineer and how they can drive improvements within a company. Now, let's get started. In the ever-evolving world of business, the role of a reliability engineer has become increasingly important. These professionals are the ones who identify and manage asset reliability risks, working tirelessly to reduce those risks. Their skills and tasks might vary from one company to another, but typically, their responsibilities include measuring the performance of critical assets, identifying root causes for failures, managing related data, and implementing maintenance tasks to improve reliability. Their role can be divided into three main areas, eliminating losses, managing risks, and managing the life cycle of assets. Firstly, they work on eliminating losses. Often, their first task is to examine production losses and inspect assets that are incurring high maintenance costs. They then work with management and operations to find the root cause of these losses and create a plan to eliminate them. They prioritize the most critical assets and usually establish or improve a predictive and preventive maintenance plan. Secondly, reliability engineers manage risks. They are responsible for managing health, safety, and environmental risks, as well as anything that could negatively affect asset capability, product quality, and production capacity. They use tools like failure modes and effects analyses, fault tree analyses, and preliminary hazards analyses to help them manage these risks. Lastly, they handle life cycle asset management. They might be called upon to help design, install, and modify assets to minimize the total cost of ownership. They create guidelines for external MRO suppliers, set inspection and review procedures, and implement the reliability plan to add value to preventive maintenance tasks and evaluate the effectiveness of predictive maintenance initiatives. Now, what skills do these engineers need? Well, the number one skill a reliability engineer needs is the ability to learn. Every asset failure is an opportunity to problem solve, both in the short term and the long term. Over time, an organization will gather the data needed to make better and smarter reliability decisions. Here are some general categories of skills that will be helpful for a reliability engineer. Basic engineering, people skills, statistical modeling, and data analysis. Material and system modeling and analysis, root cause analysis, business skills, and customer awareness. Once reliability engineers have obtained at least some of these skills, they can consider joining a reliability team or taking over the responsibilities of a reliability engineer at an organization. Although job descriptions for reliability engineers will vary across industries and companies, here are some common roles that a reliability engineer may fulfill. Champion of life cycle asset management, developer, installer, commissioner. Final checkpoint for upholding reliability standards. Creator of asset maintenance plan, risk monitor and reporter, problem solver, production analyzer, and technical supporter. Now that we understand the responsibilities of reliability engineers, Let's look at some concrete examples of how they can improve reliability within an organization. Become an expert in root cause analysis. Use OEE on critical assets. Drill down to mean time between failures. Understand where you are on the reliability journey. Transform technicians into problem solvers. Focus on rotating equipment. Always continue to learn. Review maintenance procedures and understand lubrication issues and postpone if appropriate. Once a mature accepted reliability program has been built, it's definitely worth the effort to take a closer look at lubrication. Here are some key areas where expertise is required. Condition monitoring, vibration monitoring, thermal imaging, and oil analysis, root cause failure analysis, and share impact of poor practices. So, there you have it. A comprehensive look at what a reliability engineer does, the skills they need, and how they can improve reliability within an organization. Remember, the key to success in this role is continuous learning and a proactive approach to problem solving. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more informative content. For more resources and tools to help your maintenance and reliability teams be more successful, visit us at upkeep.com. Don't forget to like this video and leave your comments below. Until next time.